Hi guys, do you want to know how I made these delicious mashed potatoes? Come, um, let's cook together! To make a very delicious mashed potatoes, we have different types of potatoes. We have the Irish potato, we have the sweet potato, but I'm using soft potato. So soft potato is what we use for making our mashed potato. So I'm not going to make use of knife, I'm going to use this cutter to shred it. So this is how I'm going to remove all the skins. Yeah, I'm shredding it this way and not using a knife so that when taking off the skin, I won't take off the potato with it as well. Now that the skin has been removed, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the potatoes into eight or more smaller sizes because you wouldn't want to cook your potatoes like this. It will take time for it to cook and then you will not have a good mashed potatoes texture. So now I'm going to slice it first in two because the smaller it is the better it will cook faster so now that i'm done cutting i'm going to make use of garlic is very good so i'm making use of one clove of garlic to give it that delicious taste it's optional you don't need to make use of it if you don't want but i like it and it's very healthy it's also good for the heart as well so i'm going to add just one you can add two or three it depends on you so that's my garlic and i'm gonna smash it yeah, so I'm going to add it to it and I'm going to cook everything together. If you smash it, you have that oil that comes out from the garlic and it's mixed into the potato when you're cooking it and it gives it that sumptuous taste. So now that this is done, I'm coming to boil the potato. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to place all the potatoes into the pot. I'm not going to add in water first before adding the potatoes. So what I do is first I'm adding the potatoes one after the other into the pots so i'm going to use my hand my hands are clean i've washed them you know for it to be faster let me just take a spatula so i'm making use of this and then i'm going to use this to scoop it in So now I'm going to add in water into it, like one to two centimeter above the potatoes. So let's go and add in some water. So I'm going to bring the potatoes over to the boiler. Then I'm going to light up the gas. And then coming to add in my salt to taste. So I'm going to leave it for 10 minutes to cook. And then after 10 minutes, it's done. Because you don't want to overcook your potatoes. And mind you, when adding the water, it's advised to add in cold water to cook it. And not lukewarm water or warm water. So that all the potatoes will be able to cook very well evenly. So that's why so you have a very good uh, mashed potatoes texture. So now leaving it for 10 minutes, you have to cook it also on a high heat for that 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, we'll come back and then check our potatoes. Now coming to check the potatoes. Wow, it's ready. So soft and garlicky. I can taste the garlic in it. I'm coming to drain the water from it. So draining the water from the potatoes. Put back on the burner and then add the potatoes on a low heat so that it will drain the rest of the water from the potato. And then I'm going to do my mixture. Adding in some milk here, butter, and I'm going to warm it in the oval and then I'll add it to the potatoes. So now the water has drained off from the potato. So I'm coming to add in my milk and my butter mixture into it. And then I'm going to turn it to my wooden spoon. I'm going to add some parsley to it to give it that nice look. 
going to use a potato masher to mash it. I love using my mashed potato to mash the potatoes so that I will have that chunky potatoes. I don't like very smooth potatoes. So I like the feeling of, you know, eating the potatoes and also feeling the chunky potato in it. And then if you like as well, you can add also your cream to it, which I didn't do to give it that nice creamy taste if you want. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my black pepper to give it that little spicy taste. You know, I love cooking with my black pepper because I love it when it's very spicy, guys. So you don't want to over mash it. So you just have to be careful and tender with it. If not, you have a um, if totally mashed potatoes. So that's it. It's ready. So this is how it looks like. Mmm. So yummy and delicious. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel to see more of my cooking vlogs. Thanks for watching. Love you and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.